This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So it's always annoyed me that there isn't a really simple way of creating a gradient style background like you're seeing on screen right now, or doing an alpha gradient like this on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. Now don't get me wrong, it's not actually difficult to do in Resolve, it just requires hopping onto a different tab, either the color tab or into Fusion. So I decided to fix that by creating the Magic Gradient tool. It's a free plugin which you can download right now and install on DaVinci Resolve. Now, please note, this is literally the simplest and easiest plugin tool, whatever you want to call it, that you could possibly make. But I decided it was missing, so I wanted to create it so that it'd make my life easier and hopefully your lives easier as well. If you want it, as mentioned, it is completely free. Just click on the link down in the description below. That will take you to my Kofi page. Just scroll down until you see the magic gradient. Give it a click. When prompted, just enter the amount you wish to pay. You can just put zero in there. If you don't want to give me any money at all, I completely understand. Just put a zero in there and then hit get now. Follow the on-screen prompt and you can download this magic gradient tool. Once downloaded, you'll end up with a DRFX file that looks something like this. Just double click. DaVinci Resolve will open up and it'll ask you if you want to install the tool. Just simply hit install and you're good to go. Now, yes, this will work on both the free and paid studio versions of DaVinci Resolve. It will work on DaVinci Resolve 18 as well. The minimum version you need is DaVinci Resolve 17.4, but as long as you're on that, then you can install this tool and start using it right away. So how does it actually work? Well, within this tool, there are two very simple effects. There is an effect which you apply to stuff to give you an alpha background, and then there is a simple title screen which acts as a color generator, essentially. But I've made it a title rather than a generator for a very specific reason, which I'll show you right now. So here we are on the edit page. Now I'm gonna open up my effects library, top left-hand corner, and then we've got our effects library down here. We're gonna expand titles, and you'll see Mr. Alex Tech. Give that a click. And then within here, you've got two effects. They're essentially the same. I've just made two, so it makes life slightly easier. We've got a color generator and then a gradient generator. So a color generator is very similar to your standard solid color generator you'll find within generators, but it's a title instead. So I'm just gonna grab my color generator and pop it on the timeline like so. Now, if we give it a click, open up the inspector. Within video title, we've got our color generator with all of our controls within here. And it's dead simple. We can give the color box a click and we've got our color picker and we can just pick the color we want from there. Or we've got these sliders which we can just move up and down to select the color of our color generator. Simple. Now, if we do want to make this one a gradient, all you need to do is click on type. There's a little drop down, and we've got things like horizontal, vertical, four corner, and then gradient. So if I just select horizontal, that's just gonna turn this into a horizontal gradient. We now have two color options, so we can just click on the right side. Let's change this to a nice bright blue. And now we've got this pink to blue. And it's as simple as that. Now you can come down here and change this to gradient, and then you have the full gradient controls. But we're gonna talk about that when using the gradient generator. So I'm just gonna delete this color generator. We're gonna go back into my titles, Mr. Alex Tech, Gradient Generator, we'll pop this on here. Now, as mentioned, this is exactly the same as the standard color generator, but it's just defaulted to gradient rather than the solid color. It just means that you don't have to set it. If you're after the gradient, it's already done. And then again, we can come in here, mess around with the gradient tools, do whatever we want from here. Now, one thing I do want to show you, underneath the preview window, click the little drop down, and then go down to Fusion Overlay, and then you get this little green line. So at the moment we're going from black on the left to white over here. If you're looking to manually change it up, just give the dots a little click and you can move this around to get the gradient however you want it. So if you need to rotate it, you just come in here, choose the two little ends and you can move it around. If you're set to a different gradient type, so let's say we're on square, exactly the same thing. You just choose the square wherever you want it to be. So we'll put that in the middle. We'll elongate this out to give it a bit more of a gradient, move it around in the inspector, change the colors, do whatever you want it to do, and job done. Now, if you've never used the gradient controls before, you've got this gradient slider, and you can actually just slide this to decrease or increase the gradient. You can click additional points on here to add additional markers for your gradients. And then to actually change the colors, you just click on the little marker, pick your color. So let's make this one a nice red. And now we've got a red to gray to white. If you want to change the gray, we click on our third marker we just added. Let's make this green. 
And now we've got our white, we'll go to our white one and we'll make this one something else. And there we go. You can just keep adding additional markers and changing the colors as you need to to get your gradient looking however you want it. And of course, because it is a title, it also means that you can drop transitions on there and just basically do whatever you want to do with it. It's just a little bit easier to work with than the standard color generator and you've got a bit more options and you can do gradients. So yeah, just saves you a little step. Now, one of the reasons I'm able to give these things out for free is thanks to video sponsors. Sponsors like Squarespace. In today's world, pretty much everyone needs a website. Whether you're a YouTuber like me, a photographer, a video editor, whatever it is, you're likely going to want to have a website set up. And that's where Squarespace comes in. Because Squarespace allows you to set up awesome looking professional websites in literally no time at all. Pick from an awesome selection of templates and then customize it in no time at all to get it looking awesome. Plus, there's loads of built-in tools like analytics, SEO tools, online stores, email marketing, members areas, blogs, and now even scheduling tools. So if you fancy checking out Squarespace for yourself, simply head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial right now. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Mr. Alex Tech to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain using the code Mr. Alex Tech at checkout. So what about the alpha? Well, that's a slightly different effect, but it's just as easy to apply. So let's have another look. So for this one, I'm going to grab my color generator. We're going to put it on track one. Give it a click. Let's just change the color to a bit of a pink or something like that. That will do. Now we're going to grab a piece of video footage and put it on top. And we want to do sort of an alpha gradient to this footage here. Rather than going to titles within your effects library, simply open up effects. You can use the little arrow to the left to expand go to Mr. Alex Tech, and then we've simply got a gradient effect within here. We're going to give that a click, drop it on our footage, and it's simply going to make this transparent. So this yellow area on the left is this color generator underneath. Same thing, if we give it a click in the inspector effects, we have all of our controls within here. So we can go to the gradient type and change it from linear, reflect, square, cross, radial, angle, etc. We can mess with all of the settings in here, you can't do anything with the color, but I have to leave those controls on there. I can't actually get rid of them, but basically ignore these gradient color controls down here. Instead, on screen, once again, make sure that you've got your fusion overlay activated. Then you've got your green lines and you can just move this around to make your gradient however you want it, like so. Just to give you another example, let me delete my color generator. We'll get another piece of footage, put it underneath. And now if we hit play, you can see we've got the two piece of footage playing over each other and we can just move this gradient around however we want to get it looking however we want it. And of course the other effect which you can apply to a color gradient is of course the gradient effect. So here we've got a solid color, let's make this a slightly more obvious color, let's go with something like a yellow. And then we're just going to go to our effects, Mr. Alex Tech, we're going to find our gradient effect and drop it on there and that's a real simple way of doing a gradient to a solid color with alpha. You can just combine the gradient effect with the actual title and there you go. It's as easy as that. Link down below, give it a click, put zero in the box if you don't want to pay any money for it, which I totally understand because it's a really simple one. Install it and start using it right away and hopefully you find it useful. If you do, let me know down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, take it easy, I'll see you next time.